everybody! I'm here today to show you how to install a Toto soft close toilet seat. This will be a simple tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a Toto toilet and I have this Toto soft close toilet seat. I'm going to show you how to install it. It's really, really simple. What you need is the toilet seat and the cover, okay? Now, the cover, the, this with this one, the cover was already attached when I got it, uh, the lid, I should say, um, and you can sort of feel when you open it and close it that there's resistance. That's how you know that it's a soft, closed toilet seat. You can feel the resistance. You can actually see it happening here. It's kind of interesting. In addition to the seat and lid, you're going to need two of these bolts right over here, okay? You're also going to need these two uh, things that you spin onto it. So these two nuts right here that hold the bolts in place. And then there are these two anti-slip pads, okay? Now, quick note, you'll notice that the holes for the toilet seat um, are elongated. And that's so you can straighten it out. You can install it nice and straight on there, okay? Very simple and straightforward. I'm going to bend it. You want to bend it so that it's nice and flat. That makes it easy to install. You don't want it to be bent out at an angle. You want it to be relatively flat. It makes it easy to install, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to place the toilet seat right here. We're going to take our anti-slip pads. We're going to install them on the underside of the toilet seat. So that's the side that's going to touch here. And it just makes sure that the, the, the seat doesn't slip back and forth. It keeps those bolts secured nice and tightly. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're installing them like that. They just go on in a, in a very easy fashion. If you take a look right here, you can see right here that they just literally fit on. It's the same shape. You have this shape right here with the circular top and the flat bottom. You just place them on like that. And you can adjust them uh, momentarily. Make sure that the tabs over here are opened up, exposing the holes, okay, as you can see right over there. So place your anti-slip pads on there just like that, okay. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to put the toilet seat over here, lining up the holes on the toilet bowl with the holes on the toilet seat. Now your anti-slip pads might move around. Be careful that they don't fall into the toilet. They might move around, but what I like to do is I like to hold them in place like that. So I'm holding them. We're going to have to adjust them when we put the toilet seat on. But we're going to, I have the anti-slip pads right here, okay? We're going to place it in place like that, just like that. And we're going to start securing it, and then I can adjust the anti-slip pads when we're almost secure. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to take one of your bolts, you're going to drop it down through the hole over there. I'm going to bring this a little bit closer over here. As you can see, uh, angle it downwards so you can see. I'm going to take this. I'm dropping it through the hole. It's also going through the hole on the anti-slip pad. I'm dropping it down like that. Okay. I'm taking my nut right here and I'm going to be spinning it clockwise underneath. So underneath, you can't see this, but I'm taking this and I'm spinning it on that bolt. So I'm turning it clockwise. It's going to secure it. So let's go ahead and let's turn it. I think, I think it's clockwise. I'm not sure, but one quick note. You can see that there's going to be a rounded portion and a flat portion. The flat portion faces up. That's what's going to create that force that's going to hold it in place. Okay, I think it's clockwise. Spin it so that it, it uh, tightens up. You know, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, now that I'm not sure, I think it's now I'm spinning it counterclockwise, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. When I'm looking down at it, it's clockwise when you're looking up at it. But when I'm looking down, it's counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. You'll know if it's getting tighter or looser. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, I can feel my anti-slip pad is still in place over here. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Take my bolt, drop it down like that. Okay? Take the nut, go underneath, and turn it in place. And we're not tightening it up all the way here. Okay? Please remember, we're not tightening it up all the way. We need to make a few adjustments. So we're tightening it up. To the point where it's holding it nicely, but look, I can still move it, but I can't, I can't lift it, okay? So the, the nuts are holding the bolts in place nice and, and smoothly, but I can still make minor adjustments. Now, before I make my final adjustments, I want you to lift up the toilet seat. You're going to take a look at the anti-slip pads and see if they're still in place. So the one on my left over here is in place. The one on my right is not in place. So what I need to do is I need to adjust, I need to adjust them right over here, okay? So I'm going to loosen that one right there, okay? We're going to get the anti-slip pad. We're going to just straighten it out underneath there nicely. So I'll, I'll loosen it a little bit more. The goal here is to get it in the same orientation. So I'm just fixing it 
Okay, I, I know it's in the right spot. Now I feel it lined up. We're gonna tighten it up again, okay? Once again, I can still move it, okay? I'm gonna lift this up, check for the anti-slip pad. The anti-slip pad looks like it is actually perfectly in place. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's perfectly in place. I'm gonna feel on the sides one more time. It looks like we're good to go. Now what we need to do is center the toilet seat on the toilet. You can go a little bit further down, a little bit further back, a little bit to one side, a little bit to the other side. What you want is for it to be nice and centered. So compare it with the toilet bowl, okay? Center it nicely. So right now, I'm lying, this is very important because if this toilet seat is not centered, you know, it's probably gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. You don't want that. So, you know, obviously you want, you want it to be a comfortable toilet seat. So it's lined up perfectly right here. I'm gonna hold it in place with my body weight and I'm gonna put my finger on top of this bolt right here and tighten up the nut with my other hand over here, okay? Nice and tight, nice and secure. Get the other side, do the same thing. I'm holding the bolt down, tightening up the nut. A lot of people will use tools for this. I don't really see a need to use a tool. You could just tighten it up. Now, as you can see, this, this obviously is on hinges, so it moves, but this back part is not moving anywhere, okay? Do a quick little test, open it, okay? Let's straighten it out nicely like that. Close it, open both of them together, close them. In my opinion, this is good to go. It's a slightly off center, so I'm just gonna use some force to nudge it over, and we're gonna really tighten these up a little bit tighter now that we are like really good to go. So you really wanna tighten them up like that. They should be plastic, I mean, they might be a different material. These are plastic pieces. So I'm not really worried too much about tightening them too much for the most part. I mean, you don't wanna really overdo it, but tight enough so that it can support the body weight and not move. So now my toilet seat is nice and centered. It works properly, everything looks good. Final step, take your little tabs right here. You can see there's a tab. You don't want everyone to see those bolts. Clip them down, you're good to go. Look at that, beautiful toilet seat. That is how to install a Toto soft close toilet seat. This has been a simple tutorial and I truly hope that you've enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.